Hey, what's up everyone, welcome back to Bloodborne. Okay, tiny little bit of post-commentary just at the start here, just because there's something I feel I need to reiterate. Please, for the love of God, stop posting spoilers. I, I've mentioned this numerous times, I don't like spoilers in any series that I do, and some people lately have just been outright spoiling shit, like... And I know you don't do it to, like, be a dick, but... Basically, it kind of spoils a lot of the point of the game for me. A lot of the point of games like this is about discovery and, you know, finding out things for myself. So, I got a comment recently, and I'm not picking on this person, it's just a good example. He basically just said, oh, did you know this character's in the game? Yes, I did, but t had you mentioned that two days earlier, you would have spoiled that for me, because I literally met that character two days after the com two days before the comments. So yeah, once again, please, don't post spoilers. I would like you to post whatever the hell you feel like posting. Just try and keep it to stuff that we've already seen. You know, if there's something that I've passed, feel free to mention it to me so I can go back and get it. You know, if... Because I've already passed that point, you know? It's not really a spoiler then. In my opinion, anyway. But just try and keep it away from stuff that I haven't seen or done yet. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Bloodborne. So last time, we continued along in Yargrel Unseen Village. We're still there now, and uh, yeah. As you can probably tell from that corpse down there, there's a bunch of weird spooky beasts around here. It's like weird neato looking fellas dragging crates along. It's the strangest shit, and I kind of dig it. Also, what the hell is that? People guarding? Hello? Ambush? Well, this doesn't look much, you know, cultish, does it? This is the... oh. Inspect the bath. <laughs> do we want to do that? I don't know. But yeah, we wound up in one of those after we defeated, uh, Rom? Was that his name? The spider dude. So I guess we're gonna inspect this and see what happens. Darkness! Hello? Did the game break? Oh, okay. <laughs> You'd think when the game's loading, they would give you, like, a loading symbol or a loading screen or something, not just a really long black screen. Oh, hello. How's it, uh... How's it going? You wanna die? What the hell? Okay, please. Okay, you're dead. Oh, there's another one. Damn, I am dodging like a pro today. Good God, I am proud of myself. Never mind! I take it all back. I, t I take it all back. My hubris got the better of me. Okay, and they're in here? And you know the little garden thing that they've made? It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Okay, we have a roof. Do we wanna go this way? I don't know. A giant hole in the ground. Ah, wait a minute. Maybe this is the top of that lift that we found. It makes sense that maybe it would be. I don't know. But uh, I guess it's possible. So what's down here? <gasps> Crystal Lizard Dude. I don't know what they're called. I think they do have a name, but I don't know what it is. I think I heard it mentioned once, but I remember, so you're still a Crystal Lizard to me. And you always will be. You little bastard. Okay, you're dead. What do you have? <gasps> Chunks. Good. Never in my life have I been so happy to see a bunch of chunks. Okay, what's down here? Oh! Just great. Is it facing me? I think that's a tail? I don't know. Okay, that's its back. Get ya! Backstab of justice. You know, I was really hoping he would fly over the railing and just fall into the abyss and die. Didn't think he would! But I was hoping it. Okay, just keep wailing away, man. Just keep wailing away. That's bad. Okay. Good, we both went. There we go. And you are dead, sir. And we got some more Twin Bloodstone Shards. I'm guessing that's what he dropped. And Body Buddy has a chunk. Good work, Body Buddy. Wait a minute, is this... Am I missing a pathway here or something? No, I don't think so. Oh, and the, <laughs> the ground's not even really textured properly. So... Is that all the point of this bath was? Was to take me out to this optional little section here? Okay, I guess I'm down with that. Simplifies things, I suppose. Use the bath, you dirty, dirty girl. It'd be kind of cool if you could actually use this or something similar to this and it would wash off the blood or stuff. Because, you know, fashion snows. Okay, that was much quicker the second time around. And yeah, it, it, it's definitely not really a bath. We're still absolutely drenched in blood. It's disgusting and also kind of cool in a very creepy way. Okay, so it looks like there's another exit out here. Indeed, there is. Where do you take me? You take... Oh. Oh, look who we found. We found the Bell Bitch. Don't know if this is a different one. I mean, she's quite a ways away from the other enemies that we found. But equally, I think we've been everywhere. And they, oh, ow, ow. Dangerous bitch, what the hell are you doing? I'm gonna have my eye out with that thing. Hey, we got some bullets. But, uh, yeah, anyway. 
What the hell is this? Is it just like for a vantage point to get a view? That's kind of a cool view. I like that. Oh, there's another one over there. Why do you have a message? The sky and the cosmos are one. Did I just write that? That keeps happening. I don't think I'm writing these things. It's very confusing. I also forgot what the hell I was saying. I think I was talking about the bell lady that she seems like she's too far away from the other ones. But I don't know because I think we've been everywhere. So I feel like if there was another one we would have found it or at least heard her. The year. I don't know. I think down here? No. I'm surprised by this. Also a distinct lack of enemies thus far. God, the moon looks so damn cool. Ambush? Wait a minute, isn't this where we were? Yeah, I think this is just about where the uh, three dudes were. You know, the crawly, spitty, crate wielding, weird bone pile of neat up things. That's my description of them. That should be like the official name in the official art book. Probably ain't though, but I think it's a good description. See a game with the people pushed up against the door. It looks like they're trying to get in. Or maybe to hold something in, or someone, or some people. I don't know. There's a deep story here. You, you, you just know it. I mean, it's a FromSoft game. But even if it wasn't, you know there's a deep story here. But I have no idea what it is. And by the way, again, please don't tell me. We'll get there eventually. Right now, you know, the mystery, it's, it's kind of cool. I like it. Really? Nothing's gonna pop out of you. Okay, I don't trust it. I do not trust it. And yeah, this is what make this what are you alive? No, okay. He looked different. This is what's making me think maybe this yeah, this is totally a boss. Totally a freaking boss. Big long pathway of nothing. Giant ominous open area. We're screwed. We are completely screwed. Hello? Aw oh, shit. Now that's... that's a blood moon. You know, I'm sensing some symbolism here with birth. I mean, it's, it's like, that thing was just, it just came out of a womb and now it's an afterbirth. It looks like a fetus. A very, very fucked up fetus. I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. The one reborn! Well, there you go. It makes perfect sense. And maybe, maybe, maybe this is a very important boss. Because we kept hearing about, uh, oh look, he's got little flailing legs. We go, whoa, holy shit. Okay, that didn't do much damage, but that seemed to be a bunch of fireballs. Yeah, that's a bunch of fireballs. Where is that coming from? Apparently up there. Uh, oh! There are people shooting fireballs. Can I get up to them? Is this like the uh, the Tower Knight fight from Demon Souls? Maybe? I'm seeing a pathway here. Holy shit. But anyway, what I was going to say was maybe, considering we keep hearing about, you know, the womb and something being reborn and... Uh, the Blood Moon being associated with it. This seems like this may be what they were talking about. See, here's the thing. I don't think we're anywhere near the end of the game, so maybe this isn't a major boss, but it, it, at least from a lore perspective, maybe it's very important. I don't really know. So far, so good, though, I gotta say. What the hell is he doing? Oh, I think he was, like, healing his limb or something. That just smacked him right in the face. That'll teach you ow. Can we really just tank these fireballs? They really don't seem to be doing much damage. Don't get me wrong. Oh, what the hell? Okay, suddenly, suddenly we took a lot of damage. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, don't get hits. See, that one didn't do much. Maybe it's him hitting me? I really don't know. But anyway, so we keep hearing about, you know, the birth, and after we defeated Rom the Vacuous Spider, there was also that weird chick in the, uh, the white dress with blood all over her stomach. At the time, it didn't even occur to me. Blood in her, on her stomach. Again, signifying birth. So this seems to be... Oh, shit. No! Your dick! 
He killed me with his flaily leg. <laughs> that, that shouldn't have been as funny to me as it was. But it was. Well, shit. I guess give me a moment here to get back. Okay, round two. Fights. It's freaking clobbering time right now. We gotta go in with the lightning, I, or the bolt, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if this is gonna be more effective. I mean, this dude seems kind of like, you know, an undead zombie thing. And usually in video games, they're the sorts of enemies that are weak to fire. But, I, I'm trapped. Oh, shit. There's also, you know, people shooting fireballs at us. So maybe the fire, you know, maybe that indicates the fire ain't that good against him. So far, seems about the same to me. Can't really tell. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really paying that much attention to how much damage we were doing before, so yeah. It's not really a good test. But, uh, yeah, don't want to get hit by that combo. Okay. He is bloody gigantic. Holy shit. Ow! Stop kicking me, you dick. No! Oh, God. No, 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 no. No! Damn it! You son of a bitch. He nailed me as I was trying to make my grand escape. This, uh... This ain't going well. Okay, we're back in this hellhole again. We only have 18 blood vials that ain't terrible. I mean, you know, we can only carry 21, but it ain't 21, so... If we, you know, almost kill him and then run out of healing items, I'm gonna be very pissed off, but... Let's just hope that ain't the case. Ow! Ow! Oh. There's a doorway here. Please tell me this doesn't actually... It probably does, does it? It lets me go up and kill the, uh, the people shooting fireballs. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's, uh, bell ladies in red. Well, all right there. So this is like the Tell Knight Flats. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, well, anyway. At least, you know, we only died twice before realizing that this was here. So it, it could have been much worse. I'm imagining probably going to have a better time of it now. Though, again, the Flatballs didn't seem to be doing that much damage. Though, between, like, you know, six of these people, assuming there's three on these sides as well, but I would imagine so. Between, like, six Flatballs... Still quite a large chunk of HP, so... This should, if nothing else, at least make it a little bit easier, but... Yeah, the, uh, the big kahuna is still definitely... Ow! Jesus! Okay. Apparently we're not safe up here. Good to know. But yes, the big kahuna, apparently, you know, uh, pretty goddamn dangerous. I just noticed there was another stairwell back there. Good to know. Okay, well, let's grab, uh... Oh, more bullets. I don't need. I guess we can drop down here. Okay. There's one more bell lady, I think, over here? What are you doing? I don't know what that was, but that sounded terrifying. Okay. Just you and me. And, you know, all of your friends that are mixed together with you. But we'll count you as one entity. It's you and me. Holy shit. Okay, no, no, no. What the hell just happened? Did he just make it rain bodies on me? That did so much damage. Come here, you. Okay, all the bell bitches are dead. Ow! Jesus, man! And yeah, this dude is, uh... Oh, that'll be what he was doing last time. Apparently a uh, AoE that does quite a bit of damage. So yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, this dude's already giving us way more trouble than any other boss so far. I mean, what? What the fuck? <laughs> well, shit. I think I need to change my tactics. This ain't going well. Okay, we're back in Hunter's Dream. I've popped all of my soul consumables. We're gonna repair this shit, because most of it's pretty damn busted, especially the Tonitorus or whatever. The, yeah, the mace thingy. And now, apparently, we can actually upgrade the Holy Blade twice. Oh, and we're one chunk away from three times. Okay, so two upgrades on that bad boy. Probably gonna make a hell of a difference in our killing ability against that guy. Having said that... Still, you know, he, he's killing us is mostly the problem, not really us killing him. Okay, and I'm thinking maybe I want to spend the rest of these blood echoes on, uh, on getting blood vials, because we don't have enough. Though maybe. Okay, we need 13 skill for the cannon. I think we have 12. Yes, we do. Okay, so we should have enough to get one level, so we Welcome should be able to use the cannon. So maybe I should... Yeah, okay, screw it. We're gonna get 13 skill. Now we can use the cannons to test that out very quickly. Uh, probably not on her, even though it's tempting. And then I guess I'll go farm blood vials off screen. Even though I really don't want to, but... We ain't got the souls for them right now. We know the blood echoes. That looks so damn cool. 
I think this thing apparently costs like 10 bullets or something to use, maybe... I think I heard that they nerfed it and they changed it to like 12 or something. I think they also nerfed like other stuff, so it doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as well, so... Kind of disappointing as shits, but you know, we're still gonna test it out if nothing else. Anyway, I guess we're gonna spend our insight on... Oh, you don't have chunks, that's really annoying. I guess on fire paper then? Because... We already used the ball paper, it didn't seem super effective. I think the fire was doing a little tiny bit more damage. So fuck it. Anyway, I guess, yeah. Give me a moment here, I'm gonna go farm blood vials. And I'll bring you back in when we're ready. Alright, I'm not gonna lie to you, I got lazy and decided not to farm blood vials. Yeah, because we still had like 16, I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. Of course, now we're down to 12, so... Probably wasn't my greatest idea, but... Is it? Ow! Son of a bitch! They're going down very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently the cannon did like 113 damage. Disappointed. Disappointed is the word I would use to describe that. Oh, I'm also disappointed you've moved your hand so that I can hit you. You son of a bitch. Okay, please. Just do some freaking damage. Yeah, oh no! No! God oh, damn that attack! Well, shit. I guess I really do have to farm now. Eh. Okay, final bell lady, don't fall off. Okay, we gotta run the way down. Okay, I found up quite a few blood vials. I think we have like, well, you can see we only got 17 right now, but I did have a full stack and I had, I think like 25 or something in reserve. Actually didn't take very long, but it, you know, it's still boring, so I didn't want to have to do it. But uh, I'm thinking I know what I was doing wrong. Yeah, that shit there where he's, oh God. Okay, move, 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 move. Yeah, he drops like a whole bunch of guts or whatever from the sky, which by the way, really gross. But basically, when I was reviewing the footage, I was like, you know what? You're kind of just standing there and letting it all fall on your head. So, I think that's the problem. I think basically we just need to kind of get around behind him. Ow. For yeah. Also, now that I mention that, it's just occurred to me, he's actually double-ended. <laughs> the entire time I didn't realize, I thought he actually had a face. But it kind of doesn't. Maybe it's a bit like the Flexile Sentry. Maybe the two different ends do different things. Kind of seems a bit like it. Like this one seems closer to the ground. Seems more like legs. And the other end seems more like faces. Can I crit you now? I think we do more damage hitting him in the head. But yeah, I don't think we can actually repost him. I guess we didn't parry him with a gun. So I guess it makes sense. Maybe you can't parry him with a gun. I don't know. But uh, this has already gone better. I mean, it's... Still not going amazing, but, you know, actually trying to dodge the attacks. Like, it's generally a good idea, okay. Yeah, holy shit. Oh, God. Okay, Fred Durst's tactics came through right there. Just keep on rolling, baby. Okay. <laughs> Please. Just let me kill you, man. Okay, I don't know what I'm hitting right now, but it's gross. It's bleeding, so it's good enough for me. And that's, uh, that's, that's generally the way I go with, uh, you know, my advice on sex. Just hit whatever the hell you can, even if it's gross and bleeding, it'll do. That was terrible, I, I apologize. <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on, let's, uh, let's just carry on with this guy. It's, it's again, going pretty damn well, now that I'm just deciding to actually dodge the freaking guts from the sky. Okay, what's he doing? I think it's... What's he doing? It's doing something. Is he doing guts from the sky? I have no idea. Yeah, something's glowing. Yeah, okay, that was a bunch of guts. It wasn't like the attack, though. Okay, he's flailing. Probably want to wait a second. Okay, go on. Yes. Okay, I still, I'm still in hits. Just tank him in, just freaking tank hits. So that gut attack, and probably the AoE as well, to a degree. Doesn't seem to add that kind of run. Doesn't even have that much range to it, though. Okay, please. Please just let me kill you this time. It's going so freaking well. Oh, shit. No. No, 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 no. Just get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there. That's so many guts, man. Holy shit. This is a very cool boss. I really like the design. I'm not so much, a fan, so much of a fan of it killing me all the time. Okay, please. No, 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 no. What the hell are you doing? No. Okay, I actually took damage from that. That terrified me for a second. <laughs> please. Stop flailing around at me, you son of a bitch. Oh, it's just the ghost casually standing there. Okay, let's go for a charge attack and boom, son. Yes. Victory is mine. <laughs> Suck it down! Oh god, that felt good. Hey, we got, uh, Yellow Backbone. That sounds absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna guess this probably, yes, a Chalice Ritual 
thingy. And it actually is a piece of backbone. Guess that also makes sense. Hallelujah! We have a lamp and apparently ain't a dead end. That's shocking to me. Then again, it might be like the Witch of Hemrick. We might walk forward to town a little bit and it might still be a dead end. So you never know. However, I do know a couple of places that we need to go back to. You may remember the grabby dude that uh, put us down in that weird bath bowl thing before we even re-entered Yargrol. Apparently if we go get grabbed by him, but only him, he'll, uh, you know, spoil us, take us somewhere else. I know nothing else about it, so we're gonna go do that probably next episode. And also, I believe we may have the key to that locked door at the top of the, uh, what's it called? The Welcome. abandoned church workshop, or whatever the name was. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go... I don't know. Maybe we should get, like, round up our strength and put the rest in decks? Maybe? We'll go with that? Why the hell not? Fuck it. Okay, what do you have to say? Well, good hunter. May you find your worth in the... No, wait, what the hell am I doing? You actually have to use the talk option. What the hell, brain? Good hunter. Your presence somehow soothes. I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. I think that's what she said last time. I think she's been saying that since we killed Rom. Farewell, good hunt. Because we got some kind of, you know, kin cold blood echoes or something from him. So again, I assume he's one of like the main bosses of the game, and every time you kill one of them, you might get some more kin cold blood or something different. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm gonna wait here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciated. Like, and I'll see you next time for more Bloodborne.